Southwestern stuffed avocados, walnut beef and beans with tomatoes. Southwestern stuffed avocados, walnut beef and beans with tomatoes. Hello, my loves. Hello, 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 everyone. And welcome back into my kitchen. My name is Gabrielle Reyes. Y'all know me as One Great Vegan. And this, my loves, is a musical cooking class. Today we're gonna be making some Southwestern stuffed avocados, walnut beef and beans with tomatoes. So we're gonna be filling up an avocado, taking out that pit, scooping out a little bit, we can save that for later for another recipe, and they're gonna be filling it with some walnut fajita beef, and then a zesty corn bean tomato salsa, and then a lime crema on top, my loves. This recipe is so incredibly simple to make. It's colorful, it's vibrant, it's perfect for summer, and I'm so excited to teach y'all how to make it. So today, y'all, before we get going, and before we get glowing, y'all know what we gotta do, right? Wash your hands. Wash your hands, wash your hands before we get to cooking. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands before you get to cooking. All right, my hands are clean and they're dry now. So I'm gonna get my hands nice and clean I honestly just wash them but you know what y'all need to know that washing your hand wearing your mask is the right way to live your life so lead by example that's what they say so the first thing we're gonna work on is this zesty fajita beef this meat structure that we're gonna create out of some walnuts out of some sun-dried tomatoes and then also out of some mushrooms. So combine these all together in a food processor and boom, you got fajita beef. So this recipe is also perfect with any kind of like tacos. You can put this in a potato. You can put this in some taquitos. You can add in some bean and cheese taquitos with fajita beef, with this fajita beef in it. So I'll show you how simple and easy it is to make. You're gonna need about one half cup of some walnuts so add that in some people like to toast them beforehand but i didn't feel like cooking today y'all i'll be real with you i just felt like throwing things into the food processor mixing it up and then munching it i just i've been cooking all week it felt like it was time to just let the pots and pans sit aside for a little while let them have a break so all you gotta do, get yourself some walnuts. If you want to, you can toast them in your pan with a little bit of oil or vegan butter, just to give them that extra little oomph. And then we're gonna add in some of our mushrooms. Mushroom, 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 mushroom. Add in the mushroom to make the meat. Hey, add in that mushroom. You can add in, honestly, if you like mushrooms a lot, you can add in more mushrooms. If you like walnuts, if you wanna add in sunflower seeds into this as well, that works too. I'm gonna be adding about seven of my mushrooms. And if you want to, you can use portobello mushrooms. It doesn't matter what kind of mushroom you use. I suggest just using a cheap, easy, quick, whatever's the most basic mushroom because we're gonna grind it up anyways. Ooh, and then this is the best part. This is honestly the part that makes it that kind of beefy texture are these sun-dried tomatoes, sun-dried tomatoes, sun-dried tomatoes. This is gonna give it a nice little meaty mix and help it stick together. A lot of people will also use medjool dates, which is also fierce if you want a little bit of sweetness in there. But today we're gonna be using these sun-dried tomatoes, sun-dried tomatoes. They get their own gospel song because I use them in so many of my recipes. Did one just fly out? It looked like one flew out. All right, so add in about one half cup of your sun-dried tomatoes. I'm just gonna add in the whole bowl I got over here anyways, it doesn't matter. And so those are the main ingredients you're gonna need for your zesty walnut beef that you're gonna be putting in that avocado. Let's talk about those seasoning and spices. Seasoning and spices. Let's chat about some seasoning and spices because y'all best believe seasoning is 
everything, okay? So for this recipe, if you want to, you can just use a quick little chili or fajita mix. Uh, but for me, I just felt like throwing some things together. And what we're going to be using in this is some cumin. Also some chili powder. Um, if you want to, you can put in some cayenne pepper. If you want a little bit of like a nice little heat in there, you can put that in there as well. Smoke paprika, hey, smoke paprika. Y'all already know what it is. You already know what it is. It's that smoke paprika that I use in everything. And then nutritional yeast. Mm, normally I have my big container of nutritional yeast, but I was running low on my nutritional yeast, so I figured just put it into one of these reusable containers right here. So all those seasoning and then garlic powder, onion powder, garlic powder, onion powder, garlic powder and onion powder in this recipe. And you know, I don't typically do this, but today I'm gonna be adding in some barbecue sauce just to give it something extra, something zesty. I mean, might as well jazz it up. So if you got some barbecue sauce, grab your barbecue sauce, grab your food processor and cook along, my loves. So if you don't have barbecue sauce, that's okay and that's all right. You can get some liquid smoke. <laughs> you can get some liquid smoke instead. And I'm just going to add a nice little smoky flavor to it, especially since we're not cooking this down, so it's going to give it something else. The other thing I wanted to say is, once you're done pulsing this together, if you want to, you can grab yourself a pan and then cook it, get it nice and warm, and then fill in the avocado. Like I said, y'all, your girl does not feel like cooking today, doing actual cooking. We do some more combining is what I call this instead. So let's add in our seasonings. So first goes in that garlic powder and that onion powder. I'm going to be adding in about one half tablespoon of both of these babies. And y'all already know, ooh, mm, this already adds in some nice flavor in there. It's, gonna, it's just going to be dynamic. It's going to have so many different things, especially with all the other things we're going to be creating too. So like I said, ooh, this is some cumin. I use cumin in a lot of my cheeses too. If I make a coconut queso, if I make that coconut queso or, you know, any kind of mac, mac, mac and cheese, I'm always using cumin. I'm always using cumin in a mac and cheese, in a fajita situation. Whatever feels right, cumin is good, but you gotta be careful, you can't add in too, too much. I added in about one and a half teaspoons of this. You can't go too crazy with the cumin because sometimes it gets a little too earthy. So here's that smoke paprika. Hey, smoke paprika. Hey, yeah. Y'all know I love smoke paprika, so I'm gonna be adding in about one half tablespoon of my smoke paprika. We're just gonna be adding on dynamic flavors, y'all, and it's gonna give us all of that delicious wonderfulness we're gonna need when we bite into that hearty element of our southwestern stuffed avocados. So last, here we go in with some chili powder, and then I'm gonna add in that salt, pepper, and that nutritional yeast. For the chili powder, I'm adding in about one teaspoon of my chili powder. So it gives it a nice little, a little pop, a little zing, a little, mm, a little thing, you know what I'm saying? So like I was saying, add in that nutritional yeast. I'm adding in about one and a half tablespoons. Honestly, that was probably more, but your girl loves nutritional yeast. So go on in with any of these seasonings if you really, really enjoy them. If you love cayenne pepper, if you're obsessed with smoked paprika, go in. You know, I wouldn't add obviously any more than like one and a half tablespoons of these items just because you don't want it grainy and gritty. You still want it to be like some fajita beef, okay? All right, so the other thing we're gonna add in here is some of that barbecue sauce I was talking about. This is also gonna help it kind of bind together as we go. I'm gonna be adding in about one and a half tablespoons of my barbecue sauce. And then while we're here, let's add in some liquid smoke. Liquid smoke, liquid smoke. So with liquid smoke, basically, you can use it to create any kind of, remake any kind of like smoky flavor. So y'all be sure to check this out, liquid smoke. You can add it to potatoes, cauliflower, jackfruit, mushrooms, walnuts, beans, it doesn't matter. It just gives it a nice little bit, like it's been on the grill for a little bit. So check out some liquid smoke. And then of course, 
Salt and pepper, salt and pepper, salt and pepper, salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, baby. And I'm adding in about two teaspoons of my salt, and I'm gonna go add in about the same amount for my pepper as well. So add in salt and pepper to taste whatever feels right for your spirit and your soul. This already smells so fabulous. And honestly, that barbecue sauce mixed in with that nutritional yeast is going to be incredible. Oh, I'm excited to feast. This is definitely the first thing I'm eating today. And Ace and I have already talked about it. We are adding French fries to the side of this meal today because it's Saturday, it's Saturday, Saturday, it's Saturday. And Saturdays sometimes call for french fries, y'all. Deep fried french fries to be exact. All right, my love, so, all right, she is on. So I'm just gonna pop the top here of my food processor. Blend, 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 pulse away. If you want to, you can pulse it. I'm gonna probably do like a mixture of some pulsing and then also letting it go for a little bit longer. And you'll know she's ready when you open her up, take off the top of your food processor and the texture's exactly like fajita beef or like beef that you would put in a taco. All right, all right, let's get going, y'all. processor doesn't work then all this just like hmm, you know what I decided I'm just not gonna work today so let's see maybe if we sing her song work food processor work work oh now she's not even turning on oh so okay I see how it's gonna be girl oh so you just gonna just not oh, okay okay food processor well I guess this is what we get in today y'all Let's move on and let's keep going, let's keep going. She's pretty much exactly what I wanted to be, but I just wanted to show y'all what we could do with the oil, but you know what? She's just not working out for me today. Literally, what I'll do before my classes, I'll like practice with her. I'll like do like test runs with her, be like, all right, girl, food processor, like let's do this, we got this together. And then like during class or sometimes during filming, she'll just like fail me. So, you know, I bought two of these pieces right here and they both broken so uh, sad day and i love this so much but that's okay i want to show y'all this beef anyways check it out check it out this is gonna fill inside of our avocados so let's lay this over to the side and we'll be messing around with this in just a little bit but next we're gonna move on to that corn and bean and tomato salsa it is incredibly easy to make and let me take out this right here so I can already, I like to clean as I go. I don't know if y'all can tell that about me. I like to just keep things tidy as I'm cooking. That way it's easier to like assemble things at the very end. So, all right, my loves. So we got our walnut fajita beef done. Even though my food processor didn't want her to finish, she was like, mm, why is this not about me? Why is the cooking show not about me? I'm just not gonna work right now. I see you girl, we gonna have a chit chat later about all of this so she knows all right and before we have that chit chat with my food processor let's move on to make this corn and this bean and then also some jalapenos in here it's just gonna have a ton of flavor up in this business right here all right so very simple all you got to do is chop things up 
and put it in a bowl. So what I have here are some rainbow tomatoes, my loves. I'm obsessed with rainbow tomatoes. I just, you can use any tomatoes you really want, but the rainbow ones just have a nice, beautiful color. You get some orange in there. Sometimes you get like some deeper reds. You got some purples, you know what I'm saying? You just get all different kinds of color. And y'all know I'm all about that rainbow life. So get yourself some of these right here. And then I'm adding in some cooked black beans. I'm adding in about the same amount of everything. Then just because number one, it's easier for me to do it that way. But number two, honestly, you can make this corn salsa any kind of way that you like to. If you don't like black beans, you can skip them. If you don't like the corn, that's okay. It's all about just finding a little bit of color, a little bit of freshness to add on top of that walnut meat. So, like I said, I have my black beans and my tomatoes in here. And the other thing I'm gonna add in here is some corn. I'm adding in about one half cup of everything right now. And I'm just mixing it all up. And this way we're gonna have nice pops of color on the top of our avocado, as if it didn't have the color already. All right, next I got some jalapeno, jalapeno, jalapeno. I love jalapeno. I've been using it a ton, especially since jalapenos actually last a pretty long time in the re refrigerator. So I've been using this like all day, every day, okay? And it adds in a nice little bit of greenery in there too. So I'm adding in about one fourth cup of my jalapeno. This is gonna be nice and spicy, but that's just for me. That's how I like to do it. You don't gotta do it that way. And then I'm also gonna be adding in just a splash of some chili powder in here as well, just to give it a nice little dynamic flavor on top. So it's not just the vegetables and the seasoning up in here by itself. So there we go, I'm gonna give this a nice little scoop. And if you want to, you can add in some of that salt and pepper. I think I'm gonna add in a little bit of some salt in here, just because, you know, I love a salty situation, okay? And also, you know, it's gonna be all good with that avocado. So there we go, we made our salsa super incredibly easy to do. It's just gonna go right on top of all those other ingredients. So the last thing we need to make is that lime crema, lime, lime crema, lime crema, lime, lime crema. We're gonna make a lime crema. It's very simple. I've made it in some other recipes as well. And what you'll need is some vegan mayonnaise. I'm using the avocado oil veganaise. Avocado oil veganaise. Avocado oil veganaise. Typically, I use any kind of veganaise that is, you know, soy free. I try to stick away from soy as much as possible, but I also enjoy it every now and then. So it's all about that balance, right? So. Like I said, get yourself, let me clean off my spoon, get yourself some soy-free vegan mayonnaise. I'm scooping out about one half of a cup. I'm gonna be making a pretty decent amount of my lime crema, lime, lime crema. I'm gonna be making a pretty good amount because you know, I'm gonna be using this on some other meals too, y'all. So there we go, lime crema in our bowl. Just like that. And then also grab yourself some plant-based milk. This is some silk coconut milk. That's typically what I like to use. It's just nice and thick. And it doesn't have like that oversweet flavor that you can sometimes get inside of like the canned milk. So look into that. And then we have some lime juice here. So get yourself a lime. Get yourself some lime juice. Uh, this right here is lime juice that comes in a glass bottle. And then this right here is obviously <laughs> A fresh lime. Doesn't really matter which one you use, obviously the fresh lime is gonna be even more fabulous. So add in about two tablespoons of your fresh lime juice. There we go, into your bowl. And they're gonna add in just a splash of that plant-based milk. I would say no more than half of a tablespoon. So there we go, I'm gonna add in a little bit more of my soy-free veganese from avocado oil. Avocado oil, soy free, vegan eggs. Yes. All right, so I'm done with these right here. And then the rest of the ingredients you need for your lime crema are going to be some garlic powder, onion powder. Add in about one fourth of a tablespoon of each of these. 
That lime is what you really want to be the key ingredient in these. But the garlic powder and the onion powder is just going to make it pop a little bit more. So add in that garlic powder and that onion powder, and then salt and pepper, salt and pepper. Sometimes I add in pepper, sometimes I don't. But I'm adding in about one half of a teaspoon of my salt, and then just honestly just a splash of some pepper, just to balance it all out. Sometimes, like I said, I add it in, sometimes I don't. Just depends on the energy and the vibe. Okay, so there we go. I'm adding in my seasoning and my spices into my bowl. And then you know, all you gotta do is just whisk it up. Let me get her going and glowing, yes. Whisk it up, whisk it up, whisk that lime crema up, whoa. Whisk that lime crema up, boom, lime crema, there we go. Oh, I gotta have a little taste of her. Just right now, because I already know she's limey and perfect. Y'all, oh, she is, gotta stamp my foot out. She is so delicious, oh my goodness, wow. All right, y'all, so I believe all of our ingredients are ready to build our southwestern stuffed avocados, wanna beef and beans with tomatoes, southwestern stuffed avocados, wanna beef and beans with tomatoes. All right, my love, so here are our avocados. Let me clean up just a little bit and I'm gonna go grab Mr. Anderson so he can help me grab some photos of our beautiful creation. The other thing we're gonna be using um, to top off this recipe, I grabbed some vegan Parmesan. I grabbed some vegan Parmesan from Follow Your Heart. And oh, also the soy-free vegan eggs. A lot of people have been asking me what brand it is. It's Follow Your Heart. I love Follow Your Heart. I love the brand, because a lot of their items are soy-free, gluten-free, nut-free, and of course, vegan. So if you do have follow your heart Parmesan cheese, get ready to use that. We're going to sprinkle that on there. And then finally on top, we're going to add on a nice little bit of freshness. And what I have here is some chopped up green onions. There she goes. You can use cilantro, green onions, whatever feels right for your spirit and your soul. All right, my love. So let me go grab my beloved best friend and husband and so he can grab some photos of this food. Southwestern stuffed avocados, wanna beef and beans with tomatoes. Southwestern stuffed avocados, wanna beef and beans with tomatoes. Here comes a Sanderson. He is a my beloved best friend. We met doing theater. I don't know if y'all know that, but we're both actors and we met doing a little one minute play festival and here he is, beautiful in all his sweet juiciness. I love, ooh, be careful. All right, so my love, we are going to assemble our Southwestern stuffed avocados, y'all. So the first thing you're going to do is pick whatever avocado you want to use. I'm using this beautiful one here. And then you say a little prayer and you hope that she's gonna be beautiful inside for you to fill her on up. So I am taking out the little seed on the top of my avocado, and then I'm just gonna be cutting around it in a nice, simple pushing it down to the um, cutting board that I'm using as well. And then let's see, let's see how she is. Come on, girl. <gasps> yes, Southwestern stuffed avocados. Beautiful, she's gonna be perfect. We're gonna dig out just a little bit of around that pit right there and then fill her on up. All right, check it out. Aren't they beautiful? Oh. <laughs> All right, so for the pit right here, what I'm going to do is grab my knife and I'm gonna put my knife with my finger. Oh, I went a little too far, but that's okay. Let me bring it on up. Come on up, girl. There we go. I'm gonna go the other way. because I, I cut it a little too far, y'all got too excited. And then just twist it once it's in there in the pit. Boom, twist it and out it comes. Look at that magic. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Magic, 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 yes. So got yourself your avocados open. Let me grab myself a spoon 
And what you're gonna do is work around the pit. You already got a nice little vessel here, so you're just gonna work around it and scoop out just a little bit more of that avocado because you're gonna fill it with all that goodies that we built so easily, y'all. All right, so here is my avocado insides right there. I'm gonna put this over to the side because y'all know I'm about to eat that too, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, boom, there is our avocado open. Um, baby, do you mind grabbing me arugula? Actually, I'm gonna put this on a bed of arugula, y'all. It's gonna be beautiful. All right, now check it out. Check it out, check it out. Deep pitch the avocado. Then scoop it out, scoop it out, scoop it out so you can fill it up. I don't even know if y'all could see that. My apologies if you could not. But boom, you can see I have removed a significant amount of the avocado and I'm gonna use that for something delicious later. Mm. AKA me munching on this. Okay, so get yourself a bowl. I'm gonna be using a fresh bed of some arugula because I've been really into that lately. And so I think it'll just look pretty on the bottom just to fill it with something. All right, so I got my bed of arugula and then it's time to be boom. Onto our bed of arugula. Oh, she's already beautiful. She's already, why is she already beautiful? And she's just avocados with some greens. Why? Why? Somebody tell me, baby. Tell me. Please, Lord. All right. So now grab yourself your walnut fajita meat that we made. Oh, she smells so fabulous, y'all. That barbecue sauce. Mm, she gonna do us right. All right. And now I'm gonna put it into my avocado little hole that I built for myself. So I just grab myself a scoop. And then, you know what, this is just gonna topple on over, but that's the vibe and the energy we're getting today with these Southwestern stuffed avocados, walnut beef and beans with tomatoes. All right, so I am filling this up and I'll come show y'all how beautiful she is coming together. Oh, she's falling apart. Yeah, look at her, go, go, go. All right, so now that I have my walnut fajita beef up in here, let me get some of those salsa that we built. Y'all remember how we did that? That was like 10 years ago, but actually not at all. So grab yourself your bowl with your avocados in it, and then just sprinkle on over a good dollop of that beautiful salsa. Let it rain on down. Let it rain on down. She's going to be sloppy anyway. She's not supposed to be perfect. You know what I'm saying? So there we go. Oh, I can smell that extra little bit of chili powder in there. Make sure to get a vibrant amount of colors and everything. Y'all, look at this. Look at how beautiful it is. Southwestern stuffed avocados. All right, we're almost finished. We still gotta add on a couple more things. So there we go, but already she is looking gorge. Okay, gorgeous. So grab yourself your lime crema. I'll grab myself a little spoon and just drizzle this on over as lightly as you can. There's a nice little sprinkle. Actually, these are nice little plops at this point. <laughs> They're not exactly turning out into the drizzle that I was hoping for, but that don't matter. What matters is that flavor, baby, that flavor. Okay, there we go. Lime crema, lime, lime crema. All right, so our lime crema is boom. She's there, she's ready to go. And then next, my loves, add on some of that vegan parmesan from Follow Your Heart. Vegan parmesan from Follow Your Heart. I'm just gonna, let me show you. I'm gonna show y'all how it goes down. I'm gonna show y'all how it's going. All right, there we go. Sprinkle over a little bit. Give it that extra little bit of cheesiness. Mm. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. And then y'all know how I always like to add it. Add on that little bit of freshness. Y'all know how it is. Add on that green onion on top. And then boom, green onion, cilantro, it doesn't matter. But whatever it is, make it fresh, make it vibrant. Pomegranate might be cute on this too, okay? That sounds like that would be fun as well. Y'all, look at these beautiful avocados. 
southwestern stuffed avocados, walnut beef and beans with tomatoes. Southwestern stuffed avocados, walnut beef and beans with tomatoes. My loves, I, okay, so Ace is gonna grab some photos of these. But I'm gonna dig on into that fajita beef I made and have it with a little bit of bite of my avocado so I can taste everything together while he takes photo. It's called multitasking, y'all. We do it. Somehow we're trying to figure it out. All right, so I got my avocado in here. I got my zesty fajita walnut beef in here. I'm actually just making myself a little avocado bowl. And then, ooh, remember that cilantro, that lime crema, y'all? Adding in just a touch of my lime crema in here, and then, oh, vegan parmesan. Sprinkle over some vegan parmesan, and then boom, a little bit of that green onion. And y'all, I'm gonna dig in because uh, your girl wants to eat some food today. All right, let's dig on in and get a bite of everything in there. Mm. Y'all, mm hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. 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 Wow, I really can't get a hold of this at all. <laughs> mm. Go in, baby, go in. Mm -hmm. It's hardy, y'all. It's hardy. I'm trying to get it all because I'm just, I'm just hungry at this point. <laughs> y'all, check it out. Check it out. Southwestern stuffed avocados in a bowl. <laughs> in a bowl. My love, can I see our beautiful products we created and show the people as we dip on out? Y'all, check it out, check it out. Oh girl, oh girl, she cute. I had so much fun cooking with y'all, this simple, quick and easy. Uh, y'all, we were cooking for like 30 minutes. Look how fast that was. Boom, in and out, boom, boom, gang, boom, boom. All right, my loves, so get yourself in the kitchen. Get yourself going, get yourself glowing, and make yourself a southwestern stuffed avocado. Y'all saw how easy it was. You saw how delicious it's going to be. You know your body, your spirit, and your soul needs it. So I will see you all next Saturday at 1 p.m. here in my kitchen cooking up something fabulous, fierce, fresh, and fun. <laughs> Goodbye, my loves. Southwestern stuffed avocados, walnut beef and beans with tomatoes. Southwestern stuffed avocados, walnut.